Hey guys, today we have all three of the iPhone 8 colors, the silver, the gold, as well as the space gray. We're going to see which color might be best for you, looking at the front, the back, the sides, and all aspects of it. Let's go ahead and get started with the iPhone 8 color comparison. So each box is color matching to the phone itself. On the space gray, we have the dark box all around, with the dark text, an Apple logo, uh, an iPhone. On the silver box, we have the white box with the silver lettering. Uh, it looks really clean and simple. But then on the gold one, we have sort of a cream color going around it, really subtle. It looks white from a distance, but up close you can tell it has a slight cream variance, which when you compare it to the silver, you can definitely see it has a little bit of a pink hue to it, and it looks really nice. And the gold really reminds me of the uh, Apple Edition watch and some of the gold and rose gold colors that are a bit more of fashion statements and kind of modern trendy colors. And I think that's what Apple's really going for this one. All right, so opening these up, we'll go ahead and do the silver one. See up top we have the paperwork and documentation. Uh, we have a nice colorful simple guide, SIM ejection tool, uh, information, and then two very large Apple stickers that would barely even fit on the phone. Then we have the phone itself and that looks really good. Uh, reflective and the glass and white it looks really good. Uh, then we have the Apple wall charger, simple white as always. We have the lightning headphones, uh, the dongle, um, and then we have the lightning connector itself. So everything is very simple and very standard in terms of Apple products. No surprises here. All right, so we'll go ahead and quickly do the same for the gold. I won't show you what's in it because you already know that, but go ahead and take it out. And there is the gold, and that looks really good. Uh, I already took that paperwork off, but we can see the black iPhone there as well. So now let's dig into each color. The space gray is darker than the old iPhone 6 and 6S, but definitely lighter than the iPhone 7's black color. I would call it a gunmetal gray, which doesn't look bad, but I don't think it's as stunning as a darker device would be. But like I said, it's still a nice color. The silver is a very white device, almost as white as the screen, a total throwback to the iPhone 4 and 4S, and I'd call it a milk white, and the best looking white or silver phone since the 4S. And finally, the gold is a new beast of its own, another year of changing gold colors. This is with a champagne gold border and buttons around the sides, and a light rose backing. It's definitely a fashionable device. Not quite a rose gold, but more of a separate rose and gold. Less blended and more distinct between the sides and the back of the device, with the white front, and I think it looks really good. Each device has a color matching camera ring. It looks like the silver and space gray phones share the same silver Apple logo and iPhone text, while the gold has the gold Apple logo and iPhone name, and looks really clean. The buttons, SIM tray, and even screws and all the other smaller details have their own respective color matching color, while the touch ID ring around front does as well. In terms of smudges, naturally the space gray shows the most, but not nearly as bad as the jet black color, while the silver and gold colors show hardly any at all, except for the Apple logo, and if you're looking to get a device that stays as clean as possible, you'll definitely want to go one of those two options. So really the choice is easy if you want a dark iPhone or a black front. If you want a white front, both options are great. One's a clean, simple, milky white, while the other is a subtle yet striking gold and rose combo, and I'd say in general is geared more towards women, but totally could be okay for guys if you dig the gold. And either way, it's definitely the most fashionable of the three, especially if you have a gold or rose gold Apple Watch to go along with it. So these are the colors for the iPhone 8, each equally as striking in its own way. Let me know what color you have, what color you want, or if you like or don't like any of the colors. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Check out my water test and iPhone 7 video comparison. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.